I think another thing, honestly, speaking of boundaries and things we can do as women, I'm not literally not at all trying to blame women for men's behavior, literally at all. However, it's little things like if you say, I'm never talking to him again, and then he hits you up at 2 a.m. and you go over there, sis, stand on business. You're telling him it's okay. You're literally telling him, I, yeah, you can't trust anything I say. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> The fact that more women are being celibate. It's like, sorry, get your act together. Like, you know? So that's why starting with the self is always the best way to create change and create the world that we want to live in. Because it's like, if a man wants to talk to me and he's just kind of coming with this energy of like, not having integrity, not doing what he says, not dealing with his emotions in a healthy way, that's not okay with me. I don't want a man like that in my life, so I'm not going to engage with him. So hopefully he learns. <laughs> and at least I won't have to deal with that. Hopefully the next chick also won't have to deal with that, you know? So it's like, should we care? We should care in the sense of, yeah, I want you to be in your healthy masculine energy and you're not going to achieve that by taking and taking and taking from a woman, whether that's emotionally or for shelter or whatever, whatever. Push the baby bird of this lonely man out of the nest. He can take care of it himself, okay? If he wants to, if he wants to sit around and complain, that's fine, but good luck. <laughs> like, like, I'm not denying it's a problem, but it's not, your job to fix it, sis. All you can do is have your own emotional boundaries to hopefully encourage healthy masculinity. Say good morning to an old guy who doesn't give you an ominous vibe. Is my advice, I don't know. If you guys have any thoughts, I would love to hear them.